In this tutorial, I will give you a basic overview of the most important features of the kinematic software ASOM version 7. The main menu provides options for loading and saving projects, exporting data, changing the display language, accessing the manual, getting information about your license and closing ASOM. All other features are collected in these tabs on the menu ribbon. In the first tab you will find general editing features. In the next tab there are the features to create and extend kinematic systems. Also included here are the various types of drives and the possibility to insert forces, sensors and holding forces into a system as well as auxiliary graphical elements. The tab Diagrams contains various pre-arranged diagramming options for displaying typical data pertaining to kinetics and kinetostatics. Additionally, it offers the possibility to create a universal diagram to display your own arbitrary data in a customized view. In the tab Synthesis, you will find all the features that provide interactive syntheses for points, positions and forces. The tab Display serves to manage all the different subwindows. From here you can individually set the view mode for all the subwindows to on or off. You can also reposition the subwindows directly with the mouse. All the individual features or menu items can be added to a quick access menu using a context menu via the right mouse button. They can be deleted in the same way. For the following part of the tutorial I will now load an example project. Alternatively to using the menu item load, this also works by drag and drop, as shown here. On the canvas you can now see a kinematic side view of the rear of a passenger car. This consists of a graphical representation of the tailgate or deck lid depending on car configuration, a four bar linkage, a gas spring, a starting position, the trajectories of various points and an ending position. The use of the animation bar slider gives me a first idea as to the kinematic possibilities and constraints of the system. In the status bar you will find the coordinates for the current mouse position on the canvas, an estimation for the degree of freedom of the kinematic system, plus the possibility to display a grid, and all the other common animation options. Let's now go through all the other sub-windows in the main window. The element tree organizes all elements and auxiliary objects in your project and is interactively coupled with the display on the canvas. The data summary organizes all the data sources of the current system, no matter if they are generated automatically by a diagram or manually. With the layer window, you can manage different layers on the canvas. For example, you can organize different planar sections or auxiliary elements all in their own layers, as shown here. The motion control window gives you the means to set the animation conditions. This allows you to move different drives in parallel at the same time or in series, one after the other. In the Expressions window you can create your own expressions for conditions or quality indicators that you want to watch continuously. To accomplish this, a simple but powerful fully integrated scripting language is provided. The Console window provides a command line for auxiliary calculations on non-recurring queries about the kinematic system. In the same way as in the Expressions window, you here have access to the same scripting language and to all properties of all objects in your current project. The next window is the General Properties window, 
which shows all the basic properties of a selected object. The extended properties of certain object types are accessible separately and are displayed in separate windows. Let's now come to the diagram windows. The legend is presented in the lower part of the window and can be switched on and off separately. The axes are not labeled directly, but all pertinent information is shown in the legend area. You can create any number of diagrams in one project and any number of graphs or axes in one diagram. Graphical elements possess context-sensitive menus on the right mouse button by which you can access and configure important options for the element. For example, you can access the extended properties window for a gas spring element directly from here. For your first trial runs with the software on your own, I recommend downloading the example project as mentioned in tutorial 1. You can then, for example, move individual points with the feature drag. I'll now zoom in with the mouse wheel to grab one of the joints of the 4-bar linkage and move it around, like this. You can see that all pertaining information, like the trajectories of points, self-created watcher expressions and logical expressions, as well as all diagram data, is updated in real time while I am moving the element. Thank you for watching.